Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, walked into this little area first, talking to the one here a little bit. Um, yeah, that kind of explains how baffling everything has gone since we landed on this planet. Um, this is an uncharted planet near where the Starforge is. And, well, um, <laughs> it seems the Rakatan people, since they have come to this planet, have somewhat become tribal a little bit in how they do things. Uh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Just didn't expect a Sith Tremor sword. Rakatan Battle Wand. Not sure what that is. Uh, medium Repeating Blaster. Heavy Repeater. Zabrak Tie Steel Mark III. Didn't expect to get another one of those. Jedi Master Robe. Mandalorian Battle Armor. Didn't expect to see all of that. But then again, I also didn't expect them to let me take it. So... It is what it is. Now, the main reason I'm going through all of these is because they did tell me I could gather stuff here. I figure this is allowed. Ooh, a green crystal. Nice. Cage lever. I'm sure this is for all the uh, cages here. I'm not going to open those. Even if I could, I probably shouldn't. Verpine demolitions probe. Sensor probe. Life support packs, okay. Getting some pretty good stuff, I would say. Yeah, pretty good stuff for me. I'm just sure that I'm going to grab something out of the wrong container and then just piss all of them off. Okay, this one's a little lackluster in what it's given me. Two strength gauntlets. That's interesting. But... Okay, so this group under the one told me they can get me parts for my ship so that way I can get back to the Starforge if I kill the opposing faction of Rakatans on this planet so that way they can steal their secrets. It seems a little dark sidey to me which makes me think i accidentally went to the dark side uh <laughs> path first oopsie doopsie um with that in mind i'm pretty sure that i should probably just get out of here <laughs> and see what the other side has to say before I make assumptions. I'm probably correct. Uh, oh. There's more containers. That I can just freely take from. Well, I mean. It's the end game. So it's not like it's going to help me much. But it's worth a shot. You know. It's worth the shot to, you know. Grab a few things, see if it'll help. And okay, none, none of those will open for me. That's fine. I think I got everything I need anyway. Or at least everything I can get. Maybe. There's another pathway, so maybe there's more. Oh, and there's stuff here, too. Good. What we got? More parts and construction kits. And adrenals. That's not the one I wanted to open. This is the one I wanted to open. There we go. Let's check the other side before we get out of here. Yeah, the amount of warriors with vibro swords i'm seeing here makes me think that this is definitely the dark side path um 
area. So, <laughs> I'm just going to assume I'm correct in that regard. Ugh. Well, uh, not the path I wanted to take. So, I get Warmaster. I guess I'll have to talk to the lore master if I want to make sure of my assumption. Uh, oh. Well, first things first, I'm going to grab the thing that'll give me stuff. There we go. And now I'll talk to the lore master. Yarshi. Greetings, Reverend. I'm Yarshi. I don't know how to pronounce that. I am the keeper of our histories and chroniclers of the conquests of the One. Uh, do you not hate me for leaving your people before now? I am not Revan anymore. I'm Farin Khan. Your life has been defined by your identity, Revan. Your fate. If you no longer wish me to call you this, then I shall not. But you cannot change who you are. A person decides their fate. As you will. I know better than to argue with you when you have set your mind to something. Uh, can you tell me the history of your people? What of our people would you like to know? Uh, how your people came to be? In the times before our most ancient histories, there was nothing you could call the Rakatan people. They were unintelligent proto-Rakata, wandering the surface of this world. Proto Mercado. Spawned from the womb of this world, they were gifted with the brilliance of thought, but not tempered with the wisdom to use it. When the gods of the sky first spoke to them, the ground shook and heaved, and fires raced across the surface of the world. They fled beneath the ground to escape the calamity and dwelled there for some time. At last the gods spoke to them in dreams. Dreams of the surface and the light. They re-emerged from the ground and found the, lad, found the land much changed around them. Gone were the plains and valleys they had known. Instead, they were islands stretched across the breadth of the world. The world had been remade for them by the gods of the sky, and they gave thanks and fear and gratitude. Okay, tell me of the gods you're mentioning here. The world is ruled by the gods of the earth and sky, both living and dead. When the sky gods remade the world, the gods of the earth, who had sheltered and protected the Rakata, were gone. Whether dead of a sleep, they have not been heard from again. Dead of a sleep. I'm assuming that's supposed to be or asleep. Nor do the gods in the sky listen to our pleas any longer, although we can still see their lights gleam in the heavens. So we mortal Rakata are left here to our own devices, to make the future we demand of ourselves. That's... That doesn't mesh with what I know of the Rakata. So something here doesn't make sense. Tell me of your first civilizations. Back in the days of the First Awakening, when our people rose from the ground and brought the light of civilization to our new world, our people spread far and wide across the islands. Among these people, there were some that rose to greatness on the largest islands, Rakatans of vision and forethought who built great monuments to themselves and their leaders. But these cultures did not know their true strengths. They did not draw upon the knowledge of the past to feed their present. Of course, these creatures, with their centers of learning and their great temples, collapsed in riots and chaos, burning their cultures from the world in an orgy of violence. That's a phrase. It was a thousand years of darkness before the light of the first empire rose upon the blood of the past. First empire. That I know of. And that does sound correct. Are they using the islands as a metaphor for the universe? Maybe. Possibly. Guess it's entirely possible. Tell me of the first empire. When the first civilizations of our people destroyed, and chaos and anarchy sweeping the islands, bleh, it seemed that a time of darkness had descended upon us that would never end. But a strong nation of survivors yet endured. 
on one of the smaller islands near the equatorial regions. They had not forgotten the oldest traditions, those learned from the gods of the earth while we dwelt bene beneath the surface. Bleh, I can talk, really, I can't. Taking the knowledge of their elders and passing their wisdom and skills on to the next generation by eating their flesh. They built a culture unrivaled throughout history, greater even than your vaunted republic. For millennia this empire stood, uniting the many islands of our world into one cohesive whole, each generation passing its strength on to the one that followed. But fate was unkind to these great Rakata, these first ones of our kind to rise above savagery and create a true, lasting civilization. Huh. I'm starting to think I'm correct in that assumption. They're talking about the islands as if it was the actual empire of the galaxy the Rakatans actually had. Uh, the first empire, I think it was more called the Infinite Empire back then. But, huh, interesting. Tell me of the one. The great story of The One would take many days to tell in its entirety. It is my specialty, of course. What would you like to know of his great story? Tell me how he was raised. Born to poverty, raised in a hovel with no elders to guide him and share their strength with him, he had nothing to rely on but himself. But in his weakness, he was uniquely destined for strength and the burdens it carries with it. Even in his youth, it was obvious that the One was destined for greatness. When but a young one, he defeated one of the strange blue-armored warriors who fall from the sky and feasted upon him. The respect for his bat from his battle gave him the step he needed to go forward on a path that had led him ever upward since. Phrasing of that last sentence was a little weird. Also, the blue-armored warriors, I'm assuming they're talking about the Mandalorians. And, of course, they're talking about cannibalism, which seems to be a running theme with uh, these guys. Cannibalism could be construed as, you know, the strong overtaking the weak, which is kind of the Sith ideology. It's just a more literal interpretation, I guess, <laughs> you could say. Um, I think I'm correct in my assumptions. I think I'm correct. But I'm not entirely sure yet. So we'll have to keep going with it. He was... How? Tell me how he came to power. By adulthood, the One was held in awe by those of his tribe as both a warrior and a leader. When he challenged the chieftain of his tribe, no one doubted that he would prevail. The chieftain could see and, knowing that the One would bring the tribe into greatness, offered himself up without a fight. The tribe fed well and was stronger for his sacrifice. Under the leadership of the One, his tribe conquered all others on the island, uh, capturing and subduing their warriors, feasting on their chieftains, and growing his own army at the same time. He was truly a force that could not be stopped, a leader unlike any we have seen in our history. He would be the One to unite us all. Yep, I think I'm correct. I think I was correct in my assumptions. Just a little... Just a little bit. Tell me of his conquests, then. After he had conquered his own island, and his army had grown to a large size, he turned his eyes towards the nearest other islands in the archipelago. Which each I with each island that fell to him, his army grew stronger, his wisdom greater, with each chief given up to him, and his vision of a future for our people brighter. Before long, he had conquered every island in a month's sailing, and had armies expanding in every direction. It seemed that nothing would stand against him then. But we heard of the Temple of the Ancients here, on this forgotten island at the edge of the True Sea, and the One was intrigued. It was a place of power, to be sure, and none could doubt its significance. Driven by portents and omens, we came to this island with a thousand of his finest warriors, and here we stay. We cannot leave while the temple stands unopened, but we cannot enter while the elders stand against us. And the one set 
the one sits each day brooding on the fate that has led us on this impasse. Interesting. What of our people would you like to know? Uh, I think... Tell me what happened to the First Empire. Our skin had been hardened and turned black from the time our people spent beneath the surface. But always at the fringes of society there were rumors. Rumors of those other of other colors who survived above the surface while we dwelt below. We can pinpoint no direct cause for the collapse of the First Empire, but it was swift and total. But it taken centuries to build and was maintained for thousands of years, disappeared within ten, perhaps twenty, years. From the ancient cities we have examined, there was much fighting and death, as well as fires that burned bright and hot enough to melt the stones of their palaces to glass. Also, in scattered fragments and records, we have heard of a people being found, a people unlike the Rakata but taking our form, who waged a monumental war that tore civilization apart. What this war was, or who those beings were, we do not know, but they are the demons of our legends now. We believe them to be gone, wiped out in that vast conflagration, but we cannot know for sure. Interesting. What happened after the collapse? Our civilization lapsed back into savagery, what it's doing now. We were no longer the great people of centuries past. Brother turned on brother, tribesmen on tribesmen, until all fought and sought to destroy each other. Kinda like how the Sith do. The legacy of the final war and the collapse that came after it still echo with us today. We are still a fractured people. Many tribes dwell on these islands, warring with each other constantly. Each seeks to grow its own strength, absorbing, absorbing that of its enemies through their flesh cut down in battle. But none has been strong enough to exert their influence over more than a handful of islands, until now, that is. We are now in the midst of a great war of reformation, of reclamation. Yeah, tell me of the war of reformation. Before, none were strong enough to bind together the tribes and unite them towards a common goal, but that has changed. Now we do have a leader, and under him, we have swept across the islands, conquering all who have stood before us. This leader, is it the one? Over the last 20 years, we have conquered over a hundred islands, both large and small. The one has led us to victory where none have before, further strengthening us with the blood of our enemies. We have subjugated many tribes as well, their warriors joining ours in our great, great crusade. But recently, things have not gone so well. More and more outsiders fall from the sky and kill our people. More and more tribes resist us or even rebel. It has taken a great part of our strength to resist, but under the one we shall prevail. Nothing shall stop him from forming the second empire. Mm hmm. What is the one doing here then? I think I already know that. They've already talked about it. We we heard of the temple on this island, the temple of the ancients, a building the like of which has not been seen anywhere else. A place of great power it was reputed, with great guardians as well. The one came here with an army to see this temple and seize it for our cause, but we were met with strange and powerful magics which have defeated us at every turn. So now, the one sits here and broods on his troubles, listening only to the messengers who bear his orders to all corners of his territory. If only the riddle of the temple could be solved, and its guardian elders removed, then he would consume their flesh and knowledge and bring unity to our people. It is my sincere hope as well that you can help us with our great task. Right. About that. Uh, I'm going to go. Bye. If you must, I shall remain here as I always do, listening to those who wish to speak and remember. Well, that was a lot of experience I earned out of that conversation. That was well worth it. But also definitely cemented my feelings that I'm correct in assuming that these guys are the bad guys. I'm currently with the baddies. I'm currently with the big bads. Oops! 
Well, here's hoping I can, uh... <laughs> here's hoping I can change the path I'm currently on, because otherwise, I have done the oopsie doodle. The big oopsies. The uh-oh spaghettios, as it were. Hmm. Well, here's hoping. Okay. Well, there's Jahani. Come on, Jolie. There he goes. He just teleported. <laughs> it's easier than trying to pathfind his way to me, I guess. Makes sense. All right. I am controlling the controller one-handed, just FYI. So if I do something weird, that's why. Yeah, more Gizka. Okay. I stopped for a second because I was moving it to my other hand. I was taking a little drink from my uh, limeade. There's my ship. And it's smoking damaged engine. There's the Endar Spire. You can't tell me that's not. You can't tell me that's not the Endar Spire. That's basically what it is. I'm assuming that's the temple. So I'm assuming this will lead me there. Temple exterior. See, told you. Knew I was right. I usually always am. I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> a wild rancor! Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck a do. Okay. Well, let's do one of these. Oh, great. Fantastic. All right. Well, this is going to be a problem. Good. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. Do I get anything out of them? No. Damn it. I was hoping to get something. Is that another Gizka? Is this a path? It is a path. A path in another direction. First, though, I kind of want to explore around here. I kind of want to look at this, actually. What's this about? Uh, I didn't expect that. Oh. Oh. Okay. This is how you want to play, huh? Okay. Well, we'll do it this way. Mandalorians. A little shit. There we go. Mandalorian Elite. Okay. Or, I guess I'll just do that. Or not. Okay, well, that worked a little bit. I am now frozen in place. So, I might as well use a life support pack on myself, too. I am not going to be moving otherwise. Oh, boy. Can I... Can I move, please? Can I please move? Okay, journal entry added. That's good. Um, I... There we go. Jeez. Fucking hell, dude. I was stuck there for how long? At least a minute? Alright. I didn't... Wait. What? Oh, I'm at the last level. 20. I'm at level 20 now. Okay, cool. All right. Well, um, where do I put this? <laughs> Guess we'll just put it into intelligence? I don't know. Why not? All right. Um, treat injury. Nah. Yeah, might as well. Screw it. Bring that up to... 20 and that up to 20. There you go. That's good enough. Um, feats. What should I do with this last feat point I now have? I don't know. Toughness? Sure, why not? Let's do it. Get as much health as I'm going to get. Um, hmm, by five points, huh? 
physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by five points. Sure. That's good enough for me. All right. Oh. I can pick up the remains. Well, I don't see why not. Mandalorian head. Didn't expect to be picking up the head. You were ambushed by some Mandalorians. They thought they could defeat you, but you proved them wrong. That's an active quest. Why is it an active quest? Like 54 credits? Are you for real? He had pocket change? Alright, well. That was... Interesting. <laughs> oh. Because I'm wearing armor, I'm not going to be able to use Master Valor, so I put a point in there for no reason. Oops. Oh well. More Rancors. That's fine. Although I'm going to fight this one before I fight the other one. For sure. Alright. Oh, why do I keep doing that? It's just a mute. Alright. Going to heal, and then we're going to fight this one. It's immune to force wave, but not stasis. So, guess we do stasis. Wow. That thing damaged me hard. Real bad, even. Yeesh. Okay. Um. Your wish? I guess I'm having you do the attack first. Just so everyone else is attacking it with me. <laughs> Instead of, you know, not doing that. Okay. All right. There we go. Ow. Wow. It actually pulled a save on stasis. Well, that sucks. I mean, we killed it anyway, but still. It sucks that apparently the force powers aren't always going to work on them. Oh, well. Well, that's done anyway. Nothing special over here. Okay. So we just got ambushed there. And that's it. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, this has got to be the temple. It's got some weird... Powerful energy shield that prevents you from passing. Okay. I guess we're not going that way. Instead, we're going to go... Whoop, don't know why I hit an invisible wall there, but we're going to go this way. The secondary path we noticed when we came in. Because really, it's the only path we can go from here on out. And it takes us to the south beach. Okay. What was that thing I just read? SH part one? I'm going to have to back up and pause that when I'm editing, just so I know what the hell that is. That is a ship. And... This is not going to... She was just about to say, that's not going to end well for that Gizka, is it? Yep, there appears to be mines around this ship. Wahoo. Joy. And I'm not going to be able to see at least half of them. I'm, oh, wait, no, I am. Just barely. But I am, unfortunately. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to do anything with them. Oh, ship parts. And that's going to blow up, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. 
Okay, well, I don't have any way to disarm them other than just run through them, so run through them I go. Alright. I wonder what pick... What pick parts I just shipped up was about to be the phrase that was going to come out of my mouth. But... <sighs> what I meant to say was I wonder what ship parks I just picked up. I almost said parks. God's damn, I am fucking stupid. The head of the leader of the Mandalorian warriors who were killing the Rakatan scouts. Well, we have it now. The assault armor as well. Did not expect picking that up. So the assault armor has resist 25 to cold and fire. Whereas the battle armor has resist versus electrical. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Rakatan battle wand. What is that? I guess it's like a knife of some kind? On stun. On hit. Stun. It's three to three. Yeah, it's kind of like a dagger of some kind. It's also upgradable. Weighted to fit a Rakatan grip. This item is most likely a stun baton. Okay. It's like a dagger, just not quite. Fair enough. Understandable. Ship parts. These ship parts appear to be similar enough to those on the Ebon Hawk that they could be used to repair it. So I don't even need to deal with the uh, da -ba -da -ba -da. other putzes. That's good. Sith Tremor Sword, traced to the Bladeborn, a Sith offshoot dedicated to sword mastery. Did I say sword? Did I just say sword? Use your swords! Okay. Um, these cortosis laced weapons were given to Master Blades, who survived no less than ten lightsaber-wielding warriors in combat. Holy shit. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Although I, I'm kind of surprised to see Sith offshoot. One would think that the Sith would never allow something like that. But apparently they do. So technically I could just take those ship parts and then just get the hell out of here. Not interact with any of these putzes. But at the same time, I do need to get that disruptor field disabled. So, I guess I still have to deal with these putzes. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do stasis first and then... Nope, it didn't work out. So, screw it. Oh, geez. It's missing, so that's fine, I guess. As long as it misses its attacks on me, that's fine. It's still... Really? Alright, whatever. As long as it slows it down. Ow. There we go. If it doesn't stop it, it at least slows it down. And that's a good enough win. At least for me. Well. If that doesn't suggest force something, I don't know what would. Force shenanigans in some way, shape, or form. Didn't expect to be able to get that far into the beach, to be honest. Give me a second. There's something on my leg. Some sort of... That was what it was. That was my cord for my microphone. <laughs> it's brushing up against my leg. It's a little annoying. Well. In I go, I guess. This is going to be a trap, isn't it? You are not Rakata. What is your business here, Offworlder? Uh, who are you? We are the elders, and you will answer our question. Who are you, and why have you come? 
I am Revan. You, you are Revan. The council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. A council? They have a council. They have the council instead of the great wise leader. Wise leader. Singular. Then that kind of makes me feel vindicated in assuming that guys I just talked to were bad guys and these guys are the good guys. Especially considering they have, you know, some sort of force something going on here. Settlement entrance. Okay. Elder settlement. Yeah, SH part two. So I was reading things correctly. We of the Elder Council did not expect to see you again, Revan. We thought you had betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? I spoke to you once before. What did I want? Is this some sort of test, Revan? Some type of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came in search of a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. You claimed to be seeking a way to destroy the Starforge. And we were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the temple. But you betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Starforge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. And now you stand before the Council of Elders once more. And once more we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? <laughs> I don't think that that answer is going to fly. I honestly don't. I'm sorry, I have no memory of our last meeting. Do you think we are fools, Revan? Do you think we have forgotten how you lied to us last time? Why should we believe you now? My mind was destroyed. All my memories were lost. It changed me. I am not who I once was. They say that the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true that you have lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know this is not some trick, Revan? The part of me that was Revan is dead. Now I am Farron Khan. You say you are not who you once were, yet here on our world you repeat the pattern of your last visit. Like the last time you have crashed here, like last time you have come seeking our help. How have you changed, Revan? The one wanted me to kill you, but I have come here peacefully. Again, you are only repeating the patterns from before. You know we hold the secret of entering the temple. That is why you do not attack us. You come in the guise of a friend, but how do we know you are not going to betray us again? I cannot prove what is in my heart. I only ask you judge me by my actions. We sense you mean the words you speak, but words are easy to say. It is actions that prove the true nature of your character. You must prove to us that you are not the same as you once were, Revan. You must prove that you have changed. <laughs> I could just easily go for, I'm the Dark Lord, bow before me! Or just kill all of them. But, I'm not going to do that. How can I prove that? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the One. Most of them were brutally slaughtered, but we have information that one of the scouts is still alive. They will use unimaginable tortures to force the scout to reveal everything he knows about our tribe. And once the One is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. You must prove you have truly changed by risking your own life to save another. Rescue our scout from the clutches of the One, and we will consider helping you. Maybe I can negotiate with the one to release your hostage. We would prefer if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that will be possible. The one does not like to negotiate. So, if I save the prisoner, you'll help me. Risking your life to save the prisoner would show us that you are sincere about making amends for the past. Okay. Then <laughs> I can just go back on my word and just decide to kill them all and or just go dark lord on them uh i'll help you but i have some questions we will tell you what we can revan i have questions about you your tribe your history the temple 
You should speak to Osra. Osra. Sorry. The keeper of the history. He is located near the great computer on the far side of our enclave. But I will do my best to answer your questions. Okay. Tell me about your tribe. We are the elders. Our ancestors were the priests of the infinite empire. The guardians of the temple and the keepers of technology. I knew it. After the warlords unleashed their weapons of mass destruction and devastated the world, our ancestors knew we could never allow such technology to be used again. We sealed the knowledge of destruction within the temple, and for the last thousand generations, we have kept vigil here, ensuring the knowledge does not fall into the wrong hands. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Azra. Okay. I have more questions about your history. You should speak to Asra, the keeper of history, but I will answer what I can. Uh, what do you know about the other Rakata here? There is only one other group of Rakata on this island, the tribe of the One. They would slaughter us if they could, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden away in the temple. Have you tried reasoning with them? When the One first arrived on this island, we sent emissaries under a flag of truce to try and negotiate with this tribe, but all of our envoys were brutally slaughtered. We do have the technology to destroy the One and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 20,000 years. The One is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so our only course of action is to stay here in isolation where we are safe, just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of time. This will just repeat that all over again. What do you know about the temp... Well, I kind of want to know more about the Star Forge first. Can you tell me about that? The Star Forge is a blight upon our world, an orbiting symbol of the failures and horrors of our past. We have long searched for a way to destroy it, and now you finally have given us that chance. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Asra. Okay, so I need to talk to Asra to know more about anything. Fair enough. Uh, I'll just ask you what you do know about the Rakata Empire. Our history is a long one, but it is also one filled with bloodshed and sorrow. Once the Rakata ruled all of, no all of the known galaxy, but our empire was destroyed by our own corruption. And if you wish to know more, talk to the Keeper. Okay. Alrighty. Ask about something else. We will tell you what we can, Revan. Uh, do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? The Disruptor Field is one of the ancient defenses of the Star Forge. A great generator within the Temple of the Ancient fuels it. You will have to enter the Temple to disable it. Okay. Uh, let's ask about something else. I guess... Never mind. I think I've asked all I can. I guess I'll be back after I rescue the prisoner. The prisoner is being held in the chamber of the One himself. Return to us once he is free. Until then, you have free run of our enclave. Well, that's nice. I do appreciate it. Fair enough. Okay, well, time to run around until, uh... Well, until I find something useful. I do need to talk to that lore master, dude. Researcher Lawala. That's the only other named... Why are some Rakatans in cages? I'm assuming the researcher will know because it's in his room. You have returned at last, Revan. I was beginning to wonder what had happened to you in the temple. You know me? We had met previously when last you entered our enclave, many years ago. You inquired as to my research then as well. You came here and gained access to the temple and we never heard from again. We were never heard from again, rather. Some thought you might have betrayed us to the others, but they were never able to penetrate our defenses. But if you will help us now, then the time is taken is nothing. Is there anything else you require? What are you doing? With especially these guys here. What am I doing? You mean the purpose of my research here? Yeah, 
What is your research? As you may have heard from our historians, in our distant past, we melded technology and the Force to create truly wondrous effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. But something happened somewhere. What happened? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Perhaps we became immune to the effects of the Force from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits rendered our species insensitive to it over time. None truly know. The only discernible result was that we could no longer command the forces we had. Its power had escaped us. With its loss, our technologies could no longer hold us as far above the subjugated races we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. The races we subjugated rose up, plagues swept our worlds. We could do nothing against all of these calamities. In the end, only the members of our race left here, on our homeworld, survived. Oh, so this is the homeworld of the Rakata. Okay. So no Rakata can use the Force right now. Every once in a while, there is an individual born who has an affinity for the Force. Maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. I believe this is a sign that whatever genes our species had that gave us the ability to use the Force are not completely gone. Perhaps when the ancestors of the current tribes fled beneath the surface, some retained this trait. We have been working for years to isolate this gene in an attempt to resurrect it in our species as well. We of the Elders do not have force sensitivity ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure of other tribes, we hope to be able to breed the gene back into our species. Okay, we're going right back to the midichlorian shit, huh? Alright. Fine. Fine. There are some parts of the EU, the expanded universe, that were not all that cool. And this is part of it. Right here. What we're reading right now. And the main problem I have with it is that it takes all the mystical wonder out of it. It just breaks it down into like a scientific sort of study. And it takes all the mystical wonder out of the Force because of it. I understand that that is normal. You want to get into the nitty-gritty of how a thing works. I understand that is normal to want to do. However, some things should just remain a mystery just a little bit. Just a little fucking bit. And they don't seem to want to do that with the Force all that much in the expanded universe. Most of it's now no longer canon. So... That is, it is what it is. And I'm sure at some point, Disney will just go back to it. Because Disney has no real original ideas. Never has, never will. But that's not the point. The point is... <laughs> the point is... That this is the annoying part to me about the expanded universe because it takes the wonder out of what the force is i understand why and i'm sure i'm sure there are a lot of people who enjoy this aspect of it because they want to know more about what the hell is that thing Okay, I guess I was on that rant long enough that some weird shit is happening in the background, including a just random fucking robot wandering around <laughs> and fucking with the pathing of Jahani and everything. But, um... Anyway, I'm, I'm going too long into this. I'm just going to stop my rant and just leave it where I had it for now. You're capturing prisoners for their genes. 
You make us seem like monsters. Truly, we are not. We capture them, yes, but only because the tribes have become extremely xenophobic in their millennia trapped on this world. They would not aid us willingly, and killed our messengers when we asked. We believe that if we get a large enough genetic sample, we can reintroduce the recessive force-sensitive genes back into our people, allowing us to once again access the heritage of our past. You're trying to restore your empire, aren't you? No! We don't want to fall down this path that so twisted our people before. This time, perhaps we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy, and become a force for good. Well, I hope you actually mean that. How close are you to finishing? We are quite far along, having had centuries to work already. But with the arrival of another tribe on our island, we have been restricted in our movements to just our enclave. We have captured a few of their warriors, but the one that really interests us is their leader, the One. The One. What's special about him? Those with the genes we seek seem to be marked. Marked with a destiny that causes them to rise above others, as we did as a species early on. In hearing the stories his warriors tell of the One, we believe that he may hold some of the genes we seek. He may be nearing Force Sentience, or rather Force Sensitivity. Unfortunately, he and his people are much too aggressive and violent for us to ever get close enough to study. His corpse would not do either, as only a living, working body is of use to us. Maybe in time, though, the differences between our peoples will lessen enough that we may study one another and gain the info we need. I highly doubt that, especially since your elders are talking to me about trying to rescue one of your people from their enclave. That's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, what kind of information do you need? Genetic data on drifts and changes over the many millennia we have been here. Specific data on exceptional individuals. If only we had access to the knowledge of our, an our, of our ancestors. They must have known much, much more than us. They had a much greater population sample to work with. I believe that in the temple there may be information we seek. Perhaps in old archives or scrolls or whatever. Maybe even an ancient computer if any is still functioning. This information would help us greatly in our work. We would be very grateful to you for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Ah, uh, what do you know about the temple? It is ancient, that we know. And it is guarded by ancient, advanced technology that only force-sensitive races can penetrate. Recently, we have seen ships coming and going from it, similar in design to ones that came at about the same time you did many years ago. Other than that, we do not know. Although we would dearly like to find out. Is there anything else I can help you with? That actually answers a very massive amount. Thank you, I have to go. Very well then. Come and go as you please. Will do. So. I'm going to end the episode here for right now. But I want to do a quick recap. I was correct in assuming the group of Rakata I talked to previously in the last episode are all the dark side people. Especially the way they talked, the way they have a leadership structure, and the way they are very super-duper cannibalistic seem to kind of say to me that they are very much the dark side of the Rakatans. The light side seems to be the ones I'm with right now. And they seem to be very much into trying to unlock their past and learn how to get back to where they were at the very least to try and help the galaxy at large in that regard hopefully hopefully that's what they manage so i guess i'm gonna help these guys honestly i think that's probably the better option for all of it so from there on should be pretty easy. Should be. Or, maybe, since they told me that it needs the force to open the ancient temple, maybe I could just do all of that and not fuck with any of these guys. It's entirely possible. But, that's, that's a decision for another day. If it is even a decision. So, 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button. If like, take two. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying my damnedest to figure out which side to go with. If there's a side I have to go with. And uh, just work from there. Honestly, I think this is the side I should be going from. But we'll find out in a bit, I guess. But all signs seem to be pointing to this side I'm currently on being the light side. So probably a good idea for you and also me.